This is a limited edition ASRock Z690 Aqua. And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, it's probably the craziest motherboard I have ever tried to lift with my own two hands. With integrated monoblock, water cooling both the CPU and the VRM, while boasting the latest in high-speed connectivity and truly advanced overclocking support, backed up by several world records. If you want the best of the best and nothing else, this board should be a serious consideration for you, provided you can afford it. More on that in a bit. But today we're going to unbox this beast of a motherboard, go through some of the key specs in detail, and then build a custom loop to test its performance, including some memory overclocking. So the most well-endowed motherboard I have ever seen, let me show you. So let's start by unboxing this beautiful motherboard and go through some of the high level specs with you now before we dive deeper into the Z690 Aqua. Using an LGA1700 socket with a Z690 chipset, this EATX motherboard is compatible with all 12th gen Intel CPUs and uses the latest DDR5 memory to squeeze out the most performance possible. Of course, the big selling point of the Aqua series is the integrated monoblock and this Z690 version is no exception, calling the CPU and the overbuilt 105 amp 20 phase power delivery solution. But now features the latest in high-speed connectivity, including PCI Express 4.0 and 5.0, dual Thunderbolt 4, as well as both 2.5 and 10 gigabit ethernet, ticking as many boxes as possible. Going around the board and starting at the bottom left, you have your front panel audio, 12 volt non-addressable and 5 volt addressable RGB headers, a clear CMOS jumper, two four pin PWM fan headers, a TPM header, two USB 2.0, a Dr. Debug LCD, as well as board mounted power and reset buttons next to your front panel connectors. Up the side is two more PWM fan headers, independent safe boot and boot retry buttons, eight SATA ports, two USB 3 and two Type-C internal headers, two more fan headers, your 24 pin ATX power and two more 5 volt addressable RGB headers. Around the top, you have two more PWM fan headers, two 8-pin EPS connectors for CPU power, and a couple of things I want to highlight more central on the board is your four DDR5 memory slots, three M.2 slots, and even an OLED screen for device and temperature monitoring. But in case that wasn't enough connectivity for you, let's take a look at the rear I.O. We have BIOS flashback, clear CMOS, Wi-Fi antenna ports, HDMI out, audio including optical audio, four USB 3 Gen 1 ports, two USB 3 Gen 2 ports, 10 gigabit ethernet, two and a half gigabit ethernet, dual Thunderbolt 4, and two DisplayPort ins for injecting your GPU's output through Thunderbolt. Usually at this point, I would comment on its design and list a few things that I would like to see to improve its features. But honestly, it's really hard to dislike much about the design. I like that it's basically monochrome with present but not overwhelming RGB. There's sandblasting, brushed and mirrored accents on the board in very intentional places to lightly contrast the sheer amount of metal armor present. And putting the tech lens channel name at at the bottom where the limited edition numbering would be is a nice touch. So the Z690 Aqua is almost objectively a beautiful design with an A plus loadout, especially with Thunderbolt and 10 gigabit LAN. But if I was forced to be super picky, having an OLED screen more seamlessly integrated would have been nice and maybe a couple more USB ports on the rear, but those are very minor complaints. So now seems like the perfect opportunity to grab some of the highest performing hardware on the market right now and go full montage mode. Before we continue, if you're like me, then I think you're really going to like today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an amazing online resource with thousands of inspiring classes and members across 150 countries. It's a place to develop a passion you've been wanting to try or get inspired to be better at what you do best. The first one that I checked out was naturally YouTube success, script shoot and edit with MKBHD to help me make better content for you guys. And maybe you'll find it as useful as I am. But with classes from music production, web development, film and video, even business analytics, Skillshare can help you make 2022 a year of new learning and growth. So if self-development is something you've been wanting to focus on, the first 1,000 people to follow the links in the video description are even going to be fortunate enough to get a free month to try it out, which can be used to jumpstart your next chapter and get on your path to success, however you define it.
So now that we have the board up and running, let me talk to you about the most impressive thing about it before we then repeatedly assault Cinebench. This is a BIOS for the Z690 Aqua. I'm sure the BIOS is typically the least interesting thing about a motherboard for most people, but the overclocker and the tinkerer inside of me gets so excited by this level of granularity and adjustment available. Not just for extreme overclocking with LN2 or similar, but to truly understand the limits of your hardware and test each aspect of it to squeeze out every last ounce of performance. And honestly, just talking to you guys about what each of the sections are and what the values contribute to would take so long, it's actually kind of stupid. So for now, we're just going to completely ignore my typical advice and leave XMP disabled and see how far we can push this 32 gigabyte kit of Fury Beast DDR5 from Kingston that uses high performance SK Hynix memory modules. Even though the memory is rated for 5600, we were easily able to get it up to a staggering 6400 mega transfers a second by increasing the voltage 100 millivolts using similar timings. With this, we were able to repeatedly abuse multi-core Cinebench runs, completing them in under 30 seconds consistently, scoring an average of 27,500 in multi-core and 2,000 in single core, which for context is about 15 and 30% faster respectively compared to my Ryzen 9 5950X. But that may not be a totally fair comparison because of this consequence. Even though the CPU is attached to a 360 mm custom loop, the temperatures were high. We're talking over 100 degrees C while under full synthetic loads. And to many, that just sounds simply outrageous. But it is worth remembering that the TJ Maxx of the 12900K is 115. And this motherboard is set up to take full advantage of multi-core enhancement to spin up your CPU as hard as it can, provided there's power and thermal headroom available, which in this setup, there really was. And for those wondering, it wasn't a poor mount. Just look at how effectively it removes the heat when we stop the load. That's 108 to 39 degrees C in a fraction of a second. But honestly, I would really like to play around with this board for a decent amount of time to really tighten up the timings and dial in an overclock. With some very basic adjustments, I managed to get to 5.2 gigahertz on all the performance scores and four gigahertz on the efficiency ones. So let me know if you would like to see that or if I should just go the other way and do a beautiful hardline loop build. I'm thinking about upgrading my gaming PC with this and I am very tempted. But there was one last thing that I wanted to cover about this board and that is the price. If this was a $300 motherboard and you wanted a Z690 chipset and you wanted to do a custom loop build, you'd have to be pretty stupid to not seriously consider the Aqua. It's not a $300 board. Have you ever been into like a really high-end store and realized that nothing has a price tag on it? That is this motherboard. This motherboard belongs in that store. It's $1,400. Now I'd assume that this motherboard costs more than most people's entire system. In fact, comment below how much more or less this motherboard is alone compared to your system. I'll do the same for mine. But thank you very much for watching. Get subscribed, turn on notifications, or at least check out another video before you do. I have some recents in the video description and the comment section for you to check out. Otherwise guys, a like is always appreciated and I hope you have an amazing day.